De Jo Young, also known as Go of Palhe, established the state of Palhe, originally named Jin. Palhe, at its greatest extent, encompassed present day northern China, North Korea, and southeastern Russia. Palhe was called Hedongguk by China, meaning a prosperous country in the east. De Jo Young was the son of De Jung Sang, also known as Gol Gol Jung Sang. De Jo Young's origins come from different historical sources. In the New Book of Tang, De Jo Young and his state are referred to as Sumo Mohe, Sok Malbu in Korean. They are related to Jurchens and, later in history, Manchus. The Old Book of Tang states that De Jo Young was related to a branch of Goguryeo people yet distinct from Goguryeo. Goguryeo was one of the three kingdoms of Korea alongside Shilla and Pekje. Goguryeo fell to a Tang Shilla alliance in the year 668. Following this, many Goguryeo people rebelled constantly against Tang as well as Shilla. This was known as the Goguryeo Revival Movement. Dejo Yong's family moved to the Yongju region of the Tang Dynasty after the fall of Goguryeo. He had a younger brother named De Yabal. Nothing is known about him. In the year 696, there was a Kitan rebellion against Wu Zhou's excessive policy of oppression. This Kitan uprising was led by Li Jinjong and his cousin Sun Wanrong. Li Jinjong was the Kitan Khan at that time. He died during the rebellion. His cousin succeeded him but died the next year in 697 following an attack by Tang and Kapakan Kagan, who was the second Kagan of the second Turkic Kaganate. The Tang dynasty became Uzhou dynasty between the years 690 and 705 when Wu Zetian usurped the throne of her son Emperor Lui Zhong of Tang. So back to 696, when De Jo Young's father allied with a leader named Golsa Biu and fought against Tang. They fought hard, but were forced to retreat and died on the battlefield. De Jo Young led the remaining Goguryeo and Malgal army and defeated the Chinese armies at the Battle of Tianmen Ling or Battle of Chongmun Ryong. This major battle took place in the year 698. Tianmen Ling is presumed to be near present-day Tongyao or Songyuan. Tang sent 200,000 soldiers and was led by Li Kai Gu or Yi He Go in Korean, who was of Kitan origins. The Kitan are called Goran in Korean. De Jo Young established his capital at Dongmo Mountain, present-day Donghua. Following the restoration of Emperor Zhongzong of Tang in the year 705, De Jo Young reconciled with Tang. De Jo Young was given the title of Prince of Commandery of Palhe by Emperor Shanzong in 713. Although De Jo Young sent envoys to Shilla. It is said that De Jo Young proclaimed often that Shilla was not to be dealt with in a peaceful manner because of their treachery. Around a hundred years later, King Won Song and King Hongdok of Shilla sent envoys to Palhe. Maybe this proves that there was indeed antagonism between both states when King Go was alive. His son, King Mu, was also hostile to Shilla. King Mu sent embassies to Japan in 727 in order to avoid international isolation. Japan welcomed them because, like Palhe, it didn't have a good relationship with Shilla at the time. It also helped 
that Japan had good relations with Goguryeo, and Parhe claimed to be the successor state of Goguryeo. The period when unified Shilla and Palhe coexisted is called the Northern and Southern States period. Palhe was the Northern State, Shilla was the Southern State. Ujo and Tang tried to isolate Palhe. An alliance was formed with the Gokturk Kaganate. The Gokturk, also known as the Celestial or Blue Turks, was a nomadic confederation of Turkic people in Inner Asia. This alliance didn't last long though. Dejo Yong died in 719. His son, De Mu Ye, also known as King Mu, became the second king of Palhe. He gave the posthumous title King Go to his father. Dejo Yong is important in Korean history because he tried to restore the former glory of Goguryeo and give some hope to its refugees. Dejo Yong had seven sons. His son, De Mun Ye, was sent to the Tang capital as hostage in the year 705 when diplomatic relations resumed between Palhe and Tang. It was a very common practice to keep hostages from vassal states to ensure mutual trust. The hostage was usually a prince. This was also seen during the Tokugawa shogunate. The practice was known as San Kin Ko Tai. A TV drama on the life of De Jo Yong was produced by KBS and was broadcasted in 2006 in South Korea. 134 episodes were made and it was quite popular. It has to be said though that the series is heavily fictionalized since there are very little sources on the life of De Joyong and early Palhe. The South Korean Navy named a Isunshin class destroyer De Joyong. In the village of Palhe in Gyeongsangbukdo province, an ancestral rite is held annually during Chunbun to commemorate De Joyong's achievements. Palhe had 15 monarchs and lasted until the year 926 when it was defeated by the Kitan. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, comment, and hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more videos on the rich history of Korea.